over the last couple of months, I've been reading a lot, researching uh, information about the mind, the brain, and how it works. And it's really been interesting to me, and I believe beneficial to me. And the other day I was reading in a book, and there was a, a fact, a quote that was mentioned that I, I want to share with you. And it goes like this. Although our bodies stop growing, well, I must confess, I don't know about you, but um, I've put on a few quarantine pounds as of late. But be that as it may, the quote is this, as although our bodies stop growing, our minds never do, no matter how old we get. Our minds have the capacity to continue to grow until our last breath. That was encouraging to me. It was uplifting to me. It was challenging and motivating to me. Because God's design and desire is that you and I live a lifetime of learning. A lifetime of learning. And there are so many scriptures we could draw from on this. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A wise man will hear and increase in learning. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. The knowledge of the holy is understanding. There's another passage of scripture that I love. It's found in Psalm 119. And I'll just read that little section, but I want to focus on three of the verses. The psalmist says, Oh, how love I thy law, it is my meditation all the day. Thou, through thy commandments, hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words to my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. In this section in verse 98, 99, and 100. First, the psalmist says, through God's word, he's wiser, smarter than his adversaries. Verse 99, he's smarter than the academics. And then in verse 100, he is smarter than the ancients, those that have gone before him. This lifetime of learning. Taking God's word every day and seeking to see how it applies to every aspect of our lives. And those who study the brain, the brain and how it works, the mind, they say that some of the top things we can do, you and I can do, to keep our minds healthy, to keep them growing, number one, reading. Reading. And God has given us the most important book on planet Earth to read. We ought to just read it. Now, I read other books, but you need to especially read these 66 books. And I've read several books during this, this time, and I've, I've also had the privilege of reading several books in one sitting or over a period of an entire day. And it's been a blessing to me. So reading is beneficial for a healthy mind. Meditation is as well. And the psalmist that I just read, he, he talks about meditating all day. You can do that anywhere, anytime, no matter what you're doing. Just meditating, contemplating on God's Word. Prayer is also. So you have reading, meditation, and prayer. Science has proven that those who pray to a loving, gracious, caring God, they're more creative. They're more at peace. They're less stressed. They're healthier. They're happier. So spending time in prayer, connecting with the Lord. And another thing is exercise. Now, a lot of people aren't really fond of exercise. My favorite form of exercise is walking, which is interesting. There's 
a metaphor in the scripture, all throughout the scripture, of walking with the Lord. And so I like to take prayer walks where I just spend time talking to the Lord as I walk, or I put my earbuds in and I listen to the scripture on you version, or I listen to worship. All of these things are beneficial for our minds, for our brain. And I believe this is a time for you and I to develop those habits if we haven't. And you may be grown up in your body. You may be grown old with birthdays. But I'm encouraging you to keep growing when it comes to your brain. Make the most of this time. Life will at some point get back to normal. This is the time for you and I to develop habits, to discipline ourselves for a new normal, one that we are continually growing in the Lord. The New Testament tells us to grow in the knowledge, grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I hope, I challenge you to do so. I hope you're doing it.